Welcome to part two of our Element RC and Duro Builders Kit project. Curious? Tune in and find out more about this project. So we gave you part one. We described to you the details, our objectives for, for this project. But uh, if you want to see it, click here on the link above. And basically the objective was we had a kit, a ready to run kit, and we bought the, the builder's kit for $240. And we saw a lot of opportunities to make it better. And so here it is. And what you'll see off the bat is a lot of the problems we had with the vehicle are automatically go away. Five out of six out of problems go away. So we'll describe that to you and then we'll show you a lot of running video. We have one and two rounds of running video and you'll see how amazing this thing performs. So the first thing, we had a lot of weaknesses with, with, with this body. It's a beautiful body, but you know, it's, it's, it's a little thin, it's a little flexy. So we got one of the best bodies we could we knew about and it is called the Vanquish VS410 body. We got for about 90 bucks and it comes with an interior and all the plastic molded pieces. It fits perfectly, 12.3 inch wheelbase. It's got an interior, just a fascinating interior, ready for lights. And when you put it on the scale, it's 330 pound, uh, 330 grams. So it's not that heavy uh, for as, as sturdy and, and detailed as it, as it is. As it is, uh, uh, some of the weight is on top here, so it's not the lowest CG uh, available. You could, you could, a lot of people half cab this, chop it to make it perform even better. But as it is, you'll see the running video of how it goes. Uh, so here it is. It was, uh, we fit it on the, on the mounts of the Element RC that, that came with it. And uh, the problem with this body is it comes pre-drilled with holes. So we put some effort so we didn't have to put in new holes. And what our builder Randy did is he, he heat, he heat gunned this, uh, these posts and bent it and convinced them to go where these holes were. So an amazing job. Uh, and here's the body. We'll have close-ups of the interior, but it's not only beautiful, it's patterned after a Scout 800. Uh, interior all the way to the back, uh, but it's got a grill. Uh, Nice lenses, ready for, ready for LEDs, front and back. So the only thing missing is a bumper, and we have two options on the bumper. One is Vanquish is making a new bumper for their VS10, uh, VS410 Pro, uh, will be available soon, plastic, or we have Worthy made, um, handmade welded bumpers by, by a really good company. So here is the vehicle. We are not doing an expensive build on it. So 240 bucks retail price. We're just using Proline Hyrax tires. We put uh, plastic, where we put our weights on it so they perform well. And uh, we uh, put some restraint. We put a Hobby Wing 1040 for $42. Put a little brush motor. We didn't go brushless with this but you'll see how smooth it is. It's a 45 turn Tekken. And one of the things I'm proud of, uh, we're working on, is we're gonna use the uh, Amazon special KG20 servo uh, with 7.2, 7.4 volts feeding from here. I think it's gonna put, gonna put out 250, 270 ounce inches of torque. So we can go crazy on the electronics, but we chose not to. You know, what's that, oh, uh, about a hundred bucks. But uh, we'll show you a lot of running video. The one thing that we noticed with this kit is the, the chassis flex is still there. So what we did was we bought all the hard plastic option parts from Element RC, cost about 30 bucks, and that takes care of the steering, all that chassis flex. A lot of the bounce that happens uh, on the before video uh, it, uh, went away uh, because it got stiffened. Also the, the mounts on the shocks were a little loose. Uh, the tolerances were off, but on the on the on the kit, on the on the assembly kit, uh, they're they're better. So our first round of video you'll see is with a six percent overdrive. Uh, we're gonna try it soon with a twelve percent overdrive. But as you can see, 
it is an amazing vehicle and it's going to compete with our uh, top dog uh, right now which is a modified DRX4 so now let's go to the test run video first we'll stock start with a box stock test run here it is stock tire stock electronics just a little yeah racing bumper because the stock bumpers were not usable so our technique was always to start out slow very little throttle but after three or four attempts we'll use more throttle so here we have to use a lot of throttle a lot of speed just to get it going but it does unsettle the vehicle because of the flex of the vehicle we believe it does da dance around a lot and it does this strange bounce it's an uncharacteristic bounce we don't see in other vehicles it's a very tough little corner here steep loose with leaves and with a bump right there so we have to power through notice it's bouncing quite a bit and we got lucky there we almost bounced out but it bounced up <laughs> try the same technique tumbled over so here we basically had to resort to the bouncing powering through technique but you know we very spotty results it's an interesting climb here the left hole is not quite enough so you have to go over this rock that's very slippery you get on that rock, you punch. and it's high enough to hit the axles notice that every time we reverse it is quite jerky even though our acceleration is smooth so it's not the finger that's out of whack it's just the reverse is out of whack we'll power through and it's able to muscle through and element rc definitely is a nice. capable vehicle it's got good clearance axles are quite small and high they're a little wider than we want but it is capable and here is the assembly kit that we put together note that both our vehicles have six percent overdrive they could go up to 12 but we did not put them on this one has a hobby wing esc which is much better much more controllable and aside from it has hard plastic option parts and proline hyrax tires with some weights in the front so here that that is a crazy steep entry it's able to do it we're not running bumpers what's really cool about a vehicle that's balanced is you're able to apply power and it doesn't flip over backwards it'll, it'll just kind of wheel its way up and here we go to the steepest part of the wall here slow speed for for the camera not a problem at all show a little bit of descending too it has a hundred percent drag brake on the hobby wing almost tipped over but a vehicle like this it gives you a lot of time to react think and get the next move done here we're gonna on the wa wall of doom here we're gonna try a line on the left where the rocks are the rocks are slippery and they're high so it's it's this is not a line that many vehicles have completed apply a little power notice it does this wheelie manual move and once it's on able to handle it with good composure and here's a wall it's very steep tip over level basically and only our TRX4 has been able to complete it this one has a makes a valiant attempt but the body is just a little bit too heavy you know SUV body means you have weight on the top roof on the rear and that's enough to make the front wheels go up but really what's noticeable here and why we want to show it is it never flipped over it just gave us a lot of time to try a lot of stuff even though the front wheel is already up in the air
Yes, we tried. We gave it a good three to five minutes here. And it did not quite do it. Next time we'll try no body or, or a lighter body with no interior and maybe the 12% overdrive gears. Main thing though is the front wheel has to be in contact with the terrain to have a chance at this one. But really cool that we're able to give it more chances and it doesn't flip over. Here's that complicated left turn with a bump. And we're gonna take this as slow as possible. And it's able to do it so smoothly. Haven't seen another vehicle do this. Another attempt, slow speed. Here, instead of flipping over, it just kind of backs down, so it gives you time. It just doesn't slam itself to the ground. A little power, and it does it under control. Here, we're gonna try the right line really impossible line and it did it without really powering through it just that was that was a work of art right there here we're gonna do our little slot here super tight left turn the turning radius on this vehicle is is better than stock we believe because um, the quality control on the build also the hard plastic parts has less flex on the steering components amazing side healing here this is very steep with rocks that will unsettle you even more but uh, it's really able to control itself it's a combination of the weight also the damping has a lot to do with it the shocks are nicely damped and, and um, don't allow it to just fall to the side and flip over. And finally, we're gonna just go through the spine, the spine of rocks, so to speak. Entry is hard, steep and loose with cracks. And this machine is just a pleasure to just play with it at super low throttle very easy to modulate forward and backwards motor is a Tekken 45 turn and hobby wing 1080 ESC we'll do that slot again here with that big rock we have to go right over the rock to the right side always have to apply power very little power he was able to get through and here here we're gonna straddle two slippery rocks a little more power 45 turn with three cells able to have enough punch so that is very cool little spine again to close it out but I hope you enjoyed this part we'll maybe run this vehicle a few more times some 12% overdrive and maybe put some uh, overweight or hope you back. enjoyed the running video and let us know what are you doing with your element RC project builds thank you